students so this is the next model coming under our general embryology so this is the cephalocardal folding of the embryo cephalocardal folding of the embryo so in this you should be able to identify all the structures first so now this is the dorsal part of the embryo so this is your amniotic cavity so this is the ventral part this is your yolk sac okay so amniotic cavity yolk sac so during cephalocardal folding part of your yolk sac is getting incorporated along with the embryo to form our primitive gut so this is the primitive gut so already you know that your embryo is sandwiched between your amniotic cavity and the dorsal aspect your yolk sac and the ventral aspect so in between that only we have that developing embryo actually this is the ectoderm okay so already you know that so if you cut this wall of the amniotic cavity from above we can see the ectoderm so this is the ectoderm so this part is the endoderm actually primitive gut is lined by that endoderm so this yellow part yellow lining of yolk sac is nothing but our endoderm so this is the endoderm so already you know that your amniotic cavity and yolk sac covered by your primary mesoderm so this is the primary mesoderm or your extra embryonic mesoderm the part of primary mesoderm that covers your amniotic cavity is called as somatopleuric layer of extra embryonic mesoderm what is covering your yolk sac is the splanchnopleuric layer of extra embryonic mesoderm okay so now so this is the primitive gut that is getting formed during the cephalocardal folding of the embryo so the part of primitive gut what you have at the cephalic end is the fore gut what you have at the caudal end is the hind gut in between the two what you have is the mid gut so the mid gut is connected to the yolk sac through vitello intestinal duct so this is the vitello intestinal duct it is nothing but part of the yolk sac connecting your your definite yolk sac and your primitive gut is called as vitello intestinal duct okay now what you are seeing here during cephalocardal folding you are developing heart comes to the your ventral aspect so this is the you are developing heart tube okay now this is your vitello intestinal duct so this is the another diverticulum that is getting originated from this your hind gut entering into the your connecting stalk so that is the allantoic diverticulum so this is the allantoic diverticulum now this is the connecting stalk so the connecting stalk already you know that is the feature umbilical cord okay so that is your connecting stalk so what are the contents of connecting stalk so you will be having two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein in the initial stage you will be having your allantoic diverticulum as well as the vitello intestinal duct also after the complete cephalocardal folding okay so this is meant for your cephalocardal folding so amniotic cavity yolk sac covered by somatopleuric layer of extra embryonic mesoderm so this is yolk sac covered by the splanchnopleuric layer of extra embryonic mesoderm okay so after to that you will be having extra embryonic coelom so during the cephalocardal folding your part of your yolk sac is incorporated along with the embryo so that is the primitive gut so fore gut mid gut hind gut so you should be able to tell about the what are the derivatives of fore gut what are the derivatives of hind gut and mid gut so this is the vitello intestinal duct so this is the you are developing heart tube so after cephalocardal folding only it comes to the ventral aspect okay so that's all about your cephalocardal folding of the embryo of course as i told already this is the ectoderm this is your endoderm okay thank you